Abhishek. How are Hello, you? Fatima, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I have a box of chocolates here in celebration of your 20 years, which I'm going to take pleasure in eating on your behalf. I hope that's which, okay. Which chocolate is it? I will live vicariously. <laughs> they call celebrations, incidentally. Okay, yes, obviously. Have a milk to so for me. I'm going to take great pleasure in eating them on your behalf, celebrating 20 years for you. You could have a Milky Way on my behalf. Oh, bless you. I shall definitely do that. So, 20 years in Hindi cinema, how does that make you feel? Uh, rejuvenated. I feel very grateful. I feel very thankful. I'm, um, yeah, I feel very privileged to have been given the opportunity to be able to, to make films for 20 years. And uh, I can't wait to carry on and make some more. What would you say has been your biggest lesson from the industry till date? Never give up. Um, and what would you say has been the best compliment that you've had till date? My best compliment? Mm. Uh, I would think my best compliment about, about my work. Yes, about your work. Uh, yeah, um, that would be some, a compliment my, my father paid me. Would you be able to elaborate a little? What, what? I would rather not. It's a bit personal. <laughs> no it's problem. The memory I want to cherish just for myself. I don't want to share it with people. Oh, that's sweet. That's it's, so not, sweet. it's not every day that, that the Amitabh Bachchan uh, compliments you in your work. So you want to hold on to that and not share it with anybody and be selfish about it. Oh, I don't blame you, actually. I would have done exactly the same. Now. Speaking of your father, you've actually been very fortunate. You've had the opportunity to share screen space with both your parents, both your mother and your father. Yes. Who would you say, when you were working with them, you were the most, um, I'd imagine you were anxious or nervous about working with them. Which one of the two would you say you were the most um, nervous working with? My father. Yeah, I was very comfortable. I've done, I've done, uh, well, you could say one and a half films with my mother, uh, two and a half films with my mother. Um, I just did a cameo in, in a Bengali film she was doing. That was the first time we actually worked together. But then there was Drona and, and uh, Laga Chunni Medag. Uh, my mother is, uh, you know, I think she's always going to be my mother. She's never going to be able to treat me like a co-star. Mm. And uh, she's like, you know, what we say um, in, in Hindi, Jagat Mata on set. You know, oh, being the senior right. most, she takes care of everybody. She's always asking, oh, what do you eat? And can I get you this? And come to my trailer and we'll have lunch there. So you get thoroughly spoiled. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I loved about working with my mother. So it was very easy. And my mother's approach also is something which is very natural, um, you know. So um, it was very easy to work with her. My, my, my dad is, is, is a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, you know, being a huge, huge fan of his, um, obviously, it's uh, it's intimidating. Um, he's, he, I mean, he's a brilliant colleague because he kind of he totally disarms you and makes you very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's intimidating because halfway through a scene when you're performing and he's made you very comfortable with the numerous uh, rehearsals he, do, he does, it just suddenly hits you like a ton of bricks that that's the Amitabh Bachchan. So, uh, uh, so yeah, I would definitely say I was a lot more uh, conscious of the fact that I was working with my father than with my mother. Um, who is on your bucket list to work with within the industry that you've not work, worked with? And I'm going to ask in terms of actor male, actor female and director. I, I don't have these kind of lists uh, in terms of actors. I've worked with most of them. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm one of the few actors who's actually worked with a lot of people. Uh, I can think of, well, I, I, I like, um, from the newer lot, I like all the talent. I'd love to work, get the opportunity to work with Ranbir. Uh, I'm a big admirer of Ranbir Kapoor. Mm -hmm. I think he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a wonderful actor. I'd love to, to be able to collaborate with him. Um, directors, I'd, I'd love to be able to work with... Um, and these are obviously, the, I mean, the, the, what's wonderful is right now, there's such wonderful new talent. So you, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to consider the new talent coming in because we haven't seen their work, so I can't comment on that. Of the mm. people that have made films, I'd love uh, to get the opportunity to work with uh, Sanjay Bansali and, and Zoya Akhtar. Mm. 
In terms of your scripts, do you ever sound out your scripts with your parents or even your partner before signing the film? No. No. That's a personal choice. I mean, I don't really see the sense in, in doing that. Mm. I mean, there's no point asking my wife what she thought about a script because I'm going to have to act it out. Yeah, of you course. Um, but yes, we do discuss our work uh, and that's this normal family conversation. Now, one of my absolute uh, favourite characters of yours that I could watch over and over again, and I'm in stitches of laughter, is Nandu from Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favourite character of yours that you've played in the last 20 years? I don't like any of them. I find flaws in each and every one of them that I wish I would get the opportunity to go back in time and, and, uh, and improve. Um, now, obviously, we're um, talking about um, your new release, Breathe. It's your first uh, digital release. Yes, how, it did is. The, how did the role come about for you? How did it all happen? How did it fall into place? Um, it was a, a meeting. Uh, Mayank, the director and co-creator of the show, and uh, Vikram Malhotra, the, the producer and co-creator, uh, you know, wanted to meet me and showed an interest in wanting to cast me in it. He came, met me, and within half an hour, it was all done. Uh, it was as simple as that. Uh, there was no uh, more drama attached to it. They came, they pitched the idea to me. I loved the idea. I loved the zone they were trying to go into it. I just said yes. Uh, there was no other criteria, you know. There was never ever any thought that went into, oh, is this a medium I want to foray into? I'm happy being on, you know, doing feature films. No, it's just I really like the material. Um, I like their approach to how they wanted to do it. And that was the end of it. Mm. I mean, it is a very interesting role. It's got many layers. You're playing a father, a psychiatrist, a possible murderer, but also a victim as well. I mean, what more can you tell us about playing Dr. Avinash? Well, it, the, the, it was very complex because, like mm. I said, the, he is a victim and um, a murderer at the same time. I mean, in order to save his kidnapped daughter, he's being forced to... to to uh, commit murder, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, that's, that's a huge dilemma to be in. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it harks back to the theme of the show of how far would you go for your family? And mm -hmm. here's a man who's totally invested in doing whatever it takes to uh, safeguard his family. Is the excitement of the release of your web series uh, as exciting as it would be if it was a big film releasing on, in the cinema? Oh, absolutely the same. Um, I've been asked this uh, very frequently. Um, mm -hmm. And for me, it's the same because at the end of the day, be it a cinema uh, release or be it uh, on a web series, you want as many people to see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's no different here. So, um, so yeah, the, the, the feeling for me is exactly the same. Film mm -hmm. is right now. Yeah. And, and obviously, you know, we... we we're in very diff different times to what we normally would be with lockdown um, and things and, and the way we're doing the interview now as well. So it is very different. So it, it's, it's really good to hear that you still have that excitement despite being... Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't know if I'm excited for 12 o'clock or I'm dreading it. And that's <laughs> one in itself. Brilliant. No, it's good. It's, it's good to hear that. I mean, I, I just want to go back to the earlier qu uh, question. I think I lost a bit of sound, so I couldn't actually hear probably. Oh, but oh. when I was talking to you about um, my favourite character of yours, Nandu, and you were talking to me about you like, you know, you see flaws in your characters. Um, I mean, I see a very versatile actor um, from, uh, you know, over the last 20 years. I mean, you've been able to play a character like Guru Kant Desai in Guru to yes. Nandu. And in my opinion, I see those two as two completely different characters, but played very, very effortless, effortlessly. So, you know, do you still believe you've still got a lot to prove in cinema? Because I think you've, you know, you've achieved quite oh, a lot. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, if, if I may discuss the two roles that you spoke about. Yeah. Uh, Guru released in January 2007. That's 13 years ago. And wow. Happy New Year released in Diwali 2014. That's six years ago. That's ancient history almost. You know, you can't keep resting on your laurels and saying, oh, I've done this, I've done that. No, no, there's newer horizons to conquer. There's so much more work to be done. Uh, I feel, um, yeah, I mean, that's the way I've always been. So 
So yeah, I, I, I don't like to look over my shoulder and, and, and continuously say, oh, that was great, that was great. I look back and I get uh, disheartened the fact that today I realize I can do that much better. So I wish I had that opportunity today. Um, mm-hmm. So although thank you very much, but you know, there's much more and much better stuff that can happen. Very humble of you. My parting question now, because I think my 10 minutes are nearly up. So um, lockdown has been quite a testing time for everybody across yes, the globe. Yes. And obviously within your, you know, you will have found that yourself as well within the industry, um, especially because Bollywood has lost so many great talents this year too. What advice, if you could give to our readers and your fans to help people get through these testing and challenging times? Each to their own, uh, Fatima, very honestly. Um, you know, for me, mm-hmm. I mean, these are unprecedented times. I don't think anybody's been prepared for the last mm-hmm. couple of months. Um, I think the silver lining for me has been that, you know, my entire family is with me. Uh, mm-hmm. They're all safe and they're happy and I couldn't ask for anything else. At the end of the day, all you want is the well-being of your family. Uh, and I'm very fortunate that the family is all under the same roof. And... Uh, Coincidentally, uh, it's, it's possibly the first time that everybody's had so much time with each other. You know, due yeah. to our work commitments, all of us, be it my mother, my father, my wife, or myself, or my daughter being at school, everybody's all over the place. And although we live under the same roof, we might not see each other for, for weeks uh, mm-hmm. due to our different, different timings. So it's nice that everybody gets time to spend together. Yeah, that's wonderful. Family time is definitely very, very precious. Um, Thank you so much for speaking to us. I'd like to wish you all the very best with your new web series. I'm really looking forward to watching it. Thank you, Fatima. I look forward to hearing what you think of it. Oh, definitely. I'll definitely be posting a tweet as soon as I watch the first episode. All the best with everything that you do. Thank you so much. Thank you for for doing this and be safe. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.